IndyCars were back on track at the Milwaukee Mile Oval this week in preparation for next year's return to the historic venue. IndyCar last raced in Milwaukee in 2015, so Will Power and Linus Lundquist brought their Chevrolet and Honda IndyCars for a Firestone tire test to help it collect data on how the latest cars perform on the track. IndyCar is switching to a hybrid power unit in 2024 that will combine its current 700 horsepower turbocharged V6 with an electric motor that will offer a 150 horsepower push to pass boost using energy that's collected under braking. Uh, yeah, I mean the track, the track has not changed very much. It felt very similar to when we last raced here almost 10 years ago. Uh, it's pretty, it's a really cool oval because it's low banking, which is good for our cars, really good for racing. So excited to be coming back. Um, we get to do a double header, and I think it'll be a, it'll be a good race. Always good racing around this place. It's pretty bumpy, that it's pretty fast, um, that it is a really a short oval. I mean, I did my rookie orientation uh, program last week at, uh, at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, you know, an oval, but a very different kind of oval. So, uh, yeah, it just very much highlighted the differences in uh, all the places that we go to here in IndyCar. The Milwaukee Mile will be hosting a double-header IndyCar event on Labor Day weekend.